Gypsy Bird Brains here and today we are doing some traditional animation. So I already made a video about the whole interface and how I use sync layer to do my uh, animation and etc. So I won't go over that again. But now we will focus on cleanup. Now usually I would make my animation a bit more uh, on model than that. But there's a few drawings that are okay for me to clean so I'll do these. So let's say that I want to clean up this drawing. What I would do first is um, get my node view because I love my node view. Um, just create a new drawing layer. I'm going to call it Z uh, underscore clean so that I know what I'm doing. And now this drawing, whoop, what I'll do with it is uh, sync it to my rough animation so that they share the same time. So right click, uh, share, no not share, sync layer with and this is why naming your layers is important. I'll go get my rough. Now they're linked together. If I change the timing of one, it's gonna change the other one as well. So if I change this and I move it, it's gonna move both of my drawing at the same time, which is amazing. So now for cleanup. I never use the brush unless I'm making some dumb stuff very quickly to make somebody laugh. Uh, I always clean using the line tool or the pencil tool and I know it's a bit more tedious in the process, but in the long run, I think it's better, especially if you want to reuse some stuff. Because if I clean using my brush... Oh, by the way, you can press on the O button on your keyboard to make your lines wider or smaller. You just press O and you click and drag, just so you know. So if I want to clean up, uh, it's nice because it allows you to have a very uh, personal style and you don't have to worry about lines being closed and stuff because... Because if you see them closed, they are closed. And well, if you use the pencil tool, uh, even if you think um, you, that your lines are closed, uh, sometimes if you try to use your bucket, uh, it won't work. And this is because if you press on K, uh, the lines don't touch each other, okay? They look like they do, but they don't. Because the brush tool has its uh, vector points on the contour. Well, the pencil has it in the inside, but like the difference between the two is for another video, I'm just showing you why I use the pencil, is because the pencil line can be changed after you drew it. So it needs to be very precise, because if you change the size to two, now the lines don't touch each other. But if you put it to uh, 16 uh, units, now it touches. So that's why uh, you really need to be more cautious about what you're doing and actually snap your uh, vector points together. So for some people, this is a real pain and I understand. And if you're making some small animation and you're not doing a full production, go ahead and clean using the brush tool. Don't come crying when you try to do some cool compositing tricks with it and you cannot because you're using the brush instead of the pencil. Because if I use my pencil and I want to change the size of my line after to make it fit a camera movement, I can just go there and I can just change the size of my line. And I can even change the texture. Oh my God, this is so cool. Wow, amazing. All right. So this is why I will be using the pencil tool today to do my cleanup. All right, so when I clean, first I will use the light table, of course. Uh, you can turn it on and off here. You can use the light table options there to change your opacity and stuff. Just uh, be careful not to put your light table wash up to the maximum because then you think your layer is invisible, but actually it's just white on a white background, okay? So be careful with light table wash. All my students make the same mistake. They're like, oh my god, my drawing disappeared. No, it's just washed out, okay? So be careful and uh, have fun using this tool. So now that my layer is washed out uh, with the other, I can start drawing. And when I clean up using the pencil, uh, I will usually go and make some very broad movements like that. But when I draw, I, I, I'm honestly not the best drawer in the world. So when I clean, I will usually use a penciling tool. So the penciling is that thing you see here. It's very easy to get it. You just right click here and you get the pen setting options. And it's like, it's just a stabilizer. So the average will actually uh, average how much you move your cursor. Uh, literally gives you a little string that you can pull around. Very cool to draw with. Oh, and by the way, with that uh, pen setting thing, if you're using the brush to do your sketches, one thing I love to work with is the print pressure feel, that thing. I will usually uh, set it like that, so that then I need to press a little harder to, I need to press a little harder to get my thick line. And even if you push it to the side like this, then that means that even if you press on the screen, you're not drawing. So it's really great if you're trying to get these little uh, shapes like that. So now I, I'm touching the screen, but it's not drawing. So then you can try to try to get your lines and then just draw them. Uh, very useful little. All right, so uh, back to the cleanup. 
that I will get my average and I don't set it, I don't put it, and I don't put a big, big number. Sometimes I put like 10, 20 is already big. And then I'll just start uh, drawing. So I'm gonna do some very broad movement because it's better for my arm. And as you do that, I will then cut all the lines that I don't need. So you can do that by getting your cutter and cutting your lines. Uh, make sure that this is set to round because if you make it to be bevel, sometimes it does some weird stuff like that. Okay, <laughs> so be sure to set it to round. And then as you cut your lines, uh, you'll get some nice little closed shape like that. If I press OK, everything is closed, everything is perfect. But you don't even have to go get your cutter. You can still keep your drawing tool active. As long as you have the letter T pressed, you get your cutter tool. And then when you're done, you can just release it and start drawing some more. So I'm gonna draw that. face and I will press on T and delete at the same time so it's like death touch in magic the gathering if I press on the line now it's gonna disappear I don't even need to make the cool uh, ninja motion of cutting the line you can just press on it and it goes away so that is pretty cool to get your line close so, so let me just finish the body right there I'm gonna draw this little shape Oof, like that and then it allows me to have some very nice uh, motion in there and then and then I just get rid of what I don't need I'm gonna draw one leg here. Boop, boop. Spin a little. Like that. Um, and then for the, for the feet, sometimes I just draw one big feet. And to connect it, I press on control. And then it's gonna close your line. So if you have a shape with a very uh, with a very sharp end, I usually start like this, and then I press on K, and it will close it. So that's how I usually draw her little feet. Then I'm gonna do this. So for the next step, I'm gonna talk to you about the snap to contour um, option. That is located here. So if you get your uh, some of your tool, you'll see this option that is called snap to contour. Now it's a very cool feature that allows you to uh, take a line, for example, that you drew, and then just take it and with that, it will snap to another piece's contour. But the problem with that is that Harmony will try to snap to every possible layer in your scene that is not locked. So that is a very good opportunity for the software to crash. So to prevent that, you can either right click on your layer and uh, lock all others. So it will lock all the other layers. But if you don't want to do that, you can also go into your drawing view and just clean up from there. I'm just going to activate my light table by pressing on this little button and then I'll start drawing and now my line won't try to snap to everything in my scene it will only snap to my current layer which will allow me to for example take this line and make it snap to this one if I want to create uh, the inside of my body for example so now I know I did it after I drew my line using the contour editor but what if I wanted to do it as I drew well you can also do it so you can take your pencil line and just like everything else in uh, harmony if you press on control or alt there's some very cool stuff that can happen to you. So let's see what it does. So control is pretty great because it allows you to close your shape like that. So you just draw and as I press control, it's always gonna try to close my line. So I use that all the time when I do uh, effects. And sometimes I use it for other things like uh, Z's tail is like a little heart and I usually use my uh, control to close it like that. Uh, so this is control and alt what it will do is it, it will snap to the nearest line so let me just try to snap my mask here so i'm gonna press on alt and start from here so now if i press on k it snapped to both sides if i don't press on alt it will not snap all right so alt allows you to snap and sometimes you can even start from far away and as you get near you press on alt and it will snap after so it's very useful to use the Alt button when you do your cleanup. I usually use it for inside lines, like I would for this mask. You have to be careful and not do it from too far away because otherwise you're gonna kind of end up with an ugly looking thing that you can fix after using the contour editor, but it's usually, it's, it's best to try to do it right on the first go, right? All right, so I will clean this some more and I will fast forward this part of the video so it's not boring for you.
Uh, for straight line, I will usually use the line tool. But to use the line tool, I will not just use some very straight line because it's not pretty. Um, what I'll use is actually the line tool, but as I press and I go to my destination, I press on control, which allows me to bend my line. Which allows you to do some very, very quick cleanup that is not that perfect. Like that, maybe some line here. That is the prettiest sword I've ever seen. It's gonna cut what I don't need. What are you doing here? Alright, so I'm gonna go clean that little tail. Oof. Using my control trick to get a very sharp end. It's just the style I chose. So I'm gonna get rid of what I don't need. And uh, yeah, so for the legs, I'll use the line tool again to get some nice shapes. And I'll clean the foot. And if I look, everything is closed. So I won't have to close that after. And I'm gonna take this leg here. She has floating legs because I can. Like, yeah, I don't really care about that she I mostly use her for like quick tutorials and stuff. So yeah, if you ever want to draw Z, just draw floating legs and don't care about anatomy because sometimes it's all about being quick and not um, being logical <laughs> in life. So there, I have her legs. Just need to cut that. And I have my final drawing. Oh, no, I forgot her arm. I forgot the arm. Maybe more like that. I should have cleaned that animation a lot more before starting actual cleanup. But, uh, oops, I forgot the line in the face. I forgot so many things, oh my god. Uh, maybe something like that. Yeah, that's pretty. So, here I have my final drawing. And I cleaned it very quickly using these techniques that will just repeat for you. So if you use a pencil, you can draw a shape and then press on Ctrl to close it. You can also use a line and press on Alt to join another line and close it at the same time. And if you're using the line tool, uh, you can use the line tool by click. You do one click and then you go to your destination. You press on control to put a nail in. And then as you keep dragging, you can make a cool shape with your line tool. So it needs, you can use a little practice to make it work. But um, yeah, it's very quick to clean up some drawing if I can show you with uh, this tool. So I'm going to start to do that. Very quick to do it. And then I can just clean my hair. So click, drag, press control pull, click, drag, press control, pull, and yeah, you can clean up some things very quickly with it. That's the technique we used on Big Hero 6 because we had a very geometric style and it allowed us to save a bunch of time when we did it like that. So then again, click, drag, press on control, drag some more, and then just uh, either unclick or raise your pencil and it will do the shape you want it. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see all the animations you do and have fun!